Hey Taurus, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 40 hours for November 19th to the 20th of 2021. All right, let's get into it with an Oracle card message for Taurus. Next 48 hours for Taurus, November 19th to the 20th of 2021 for Taurus. All right, let's see what you got going on. All right, we have Otter Dexterity. You could be dealing with like, I feel like you're dealing with an object that has a lot of joints that you could bend around. So it could be one of those wooden figures that you move around so you can sketch or draw or, or Legos or something like that. You're dealing with an object that you can move around and it like has a lot of joints that you can bend in a certain way. We have stag premonition. So it's like you, you get an idea in your head. I do this a lot. <laughs> you get an idea in your head, a vision, and you try to make it come into fruition. You have a dream or you have a vision. I feel like it's a daydream. And you take this obstacle, whatever it is, and you bend it into the exact position that you saw it in your head. And you try to hurry up and do it so you don't forget. We have boar ferocity. Yeah, you're going to make it happen. You don't care how long it takes. You're going to do it until it's exact. Also, you could be dealing with clay and trying to make a model into this vision yeah, I see you physically bending and moving something around to fit your vision. It could be metaphoric for some of you as well. Dwarf resourceful. Yeah, you're using whatever you got to make it happen. You're making some type of vision in your head come to fruition. And some of you could be ballerinas and you're stretching or doing yoga or something. You're bending into an, a position that you think will help you open some type of chakra. And you're right, it will help. All right, so let's get into the tarot for Taurus. Next 48 hours for Taurus, November 19th to the 20th of 2021 for Taurus. Next 48 hours. Whenever I see premonition, I also see promotion. So it's a level up for you. All right, we have the world card. I almost said Pisces. <laughs> we have the King of Cups, Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, we have the Ten of Swords. So you have two cards of a major ending, which is beautiful. And also the world card is major accomplishment. So that's a beautiful card to see six of pentacles. Yeah, because you've been doing the right thing. You've been feeding yourself the right things, whether it's mentally, emotionally, or physically. You've been feeding yourself the right things. And so you're producing that. And so that closes the cycle of the past or things that you've let go of in favor of these new things. Over energy is the queen of pentacles. That is you, regardless of your gender. You're attracting beautiful things to you. And it's because you've been feeding yourself positive things, things for growth. Now, you could be dealing with a water sign, but it does not have to be. I feel like you're flexible. You've been bending. Yeah, you've been flexible and bending in all types of directions. But it's like you're cutting off this king of cups. Because you want to, you don't mind being flexible and bending in all these types of ways. You're meant to do that. You're meant to expend, extend yourself because you like these things that you like, that you stretch out a place for, right? And I'm getting a picture of like putty that you can stretch and pull. So you enjoy these types of things, but this person is like trying to force you to do it or make you do it or try to keep you small. This person's like trying to stop you. Whatever this person is, they're trying to impede your growth. And you're cutting them out of your life as king of cups. Because they see your future. They see you as something that can't be stopped in the future, right? So they're trying to cut you short now or cut you off now. And, and you get even more like you just cut them off. Because they see your future. They see you becoming like uncontrollable, untamable. Because with ferocity in the future, you just become like un uncontainable and it's a good thing you're allowing yourself to expand you're seeing your full potential you're not letting anyone stop you right you're growing and with resourceful it's like you're expanding and stretching out further and further and further but this person wants to cut you off before you even realize it but they them doing that is actually triggering you to cut them off even sooner so that you can grow even sooner and faster. Yeah, you're cutting this person off permanently. They're not coming back into your life. On either side of the King of Cups, you have the world and the Ten of Swords. They are done, done. Like times three. Clarify this for Taurus. Clarify this beautiful message for my beautiful Taurus. And that's the truth. I see the Ace of Swords while I'm shuffling. Clarify this for Taurus. I don't know who this person is to you. It could be career, family, love, whatever. Friend, acquaintance, business. <laughs> You're cutting them the hell off permanently. You're done. 
Never going to listen to them again. Clarifying the world cards, the four of pentacles. Yeah, you're pulling back your energy because you see your capabilities. You see your flexibility. I, again, I, you can bend, switch, move into any lane, and especially with the overall energy being resourceful. Like you can, you can make any situation work for you. And then dexterity is flexibility as well. And then the six of swords. Yeah, you're having to let this person go and you're fine with that. You're just going, yeah, you're just cutting someone off, letting someone go. A person, place, or thing go. I feel like it's a person. It could be an entity for some of you. King of Cups, Knight of Cups. Yeah, this person, they may use love or friendship or some type of emotional endearment. It could be a Cancer. It could be a Scorpio. And again, it could be a Pisces. But this person uses some type of emotional endearment to get you to get close to them and trust them. But also they use that to contain you. Because if you're drawn close to someone for emotional reasons, it's like a container in a sense where you won't go against them or you won't fight what they say because you think it's out of love or care. That's bullshit with this person. Real love and care will not try to contain you or control you. All right, this person is using love and emotions to contain and control you. And then we have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So it could be a couple for some of you. It could be your parents. It could be a couple at work. It could be a couple of friends, whatever. This person, these people are using love to try to contain you and you're cutting them both off. And for some of you, it's one person. For some of you, you're in a relationship with this person. These people or this person is using emotions to contain you. Clarifying the ten of swords, the three of swords. Yeah, it's hurting you to cut this person off or these people off or let them go. But you know it's necessary because you realize that they're um they're hindering your growth in some way, shape, or form. Page of Cups. Yeah, you're meant for so much more than this. And you're realizing this is an opportunity of a lifetime. The Page of Cups is a pleasant surprise. So as soon as you cut off the cycle of backstabbing your betrayal, even though it hurts, you get the Page of Cups after you release this completely. You get like this overwhelming sense of joy and like elation. So it's like, what is that? The waiting to exhale or also like when you finally release and end something, it hurts. But after that, it's like a freedom cries like after you cry and let the pain go you look up and you're like oh i can breathe so it goes from pain to relief clarifying the six of pentacles is the queen of wands could be dealing with a fire sign Aries, Leo, sagittarius i see that as you though i see you as the queen of wands very fiery very excited to get going and then with ferocity i see you as the queen of wands and the page of pentacles yeah, you're getting this idea, this very lucrative idea. You choose business over love in this situation because you realize this, this type of fake ass love is bullshit that they're giving you. It's bullshit. And you see them, you see a premonition. You see with the way they're acting and the way things are going with these people, you realize that it's going to try to hinder you in the future with the premonition. You see them trying to hinder you because with dexterity, you're trying to expand out into multiple lanes into, I said lanes, into multiple lanes, into multiple forms. And these people are trying to use emotions and love it's, to stop you. Over on the Eight of Pentacles, yeah, you're trying to go into multiple lanes. There you are, trying to extend yourself and go into multiple lanes. And you like doing that, but you see these people are trying to hinder you and you're cutting them off. Definitely a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but it could be any sign. You're cutting these people off. Because you got this fire, this idea, and you know you're, you've are you been doing the work and you've been giving yourself and like feeding yourself great things and you see it growing outside of you and these people are trying to block it. So this is a very cut and dry reading. You're trying to expand and they're trying to like clip your wings. I'm going to leave it there. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me, for some of you, these are college counselors or like, yeah, people, it's like higher ups trying to stop you, whether it's an, um, your career, family um school love these higher ups this group these people are trying to stop you it's two people they're a group or a couple or something trying to like keep you small clip your wings all right i'm gonna leave it there if this reading resonated don't forget to give me a like comment subscribe or share if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me all of my information is in the description box below if you'd like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry a link for that is below as well i send you peace blessings and love namaste